Medusa deeds. I am Queen Amidala. Star us and others. I am Queen Amidala. <laughs> This is the future Disney wanted. And they got it. <laughs> no, no, Patrick, Patrick, it's okay, what happened? I had the worst nightmare. What was it? We were all shooting a, a video at Funhouse. <laughs> Oh, were you not Do you have the nightmare too? <coughs> well, everybody, we're here. We're all gussied up in our Star Wars goodness, and we've got a very special guest Who is for it? this video. We've got Kira Knightley, everybody. Hello, hello, everyone. It's so good to be here, back to the Star Wars universe. Wow, and I'm such a big Pirates fan too. Oh, so thank you, thank out. you, Jacob. Oh, oh, hey, Rahul, you just hanging out? He's hanging out because you like Star Wars? Oh, yeah, yeah, I love it. Uh, you two, you probably know each other, right? You, is that a Bend It Like Beckham reference? Oh, what? <laughs> Kira Knightley in the Indian movie. Jacob doesn't know Bend It Like no, Beckham. No, I only know Bendix Bendix. Tutu. <laughs> well, so Rahul and I, we do go way back, but not to Bend It Like Beckham, actually, but we grew up in Leeds to get, where did we grow up? Surrey? Where did we grow up, Rahul? London. London. <laughs> we grew up in London together and oh. The first one you think of usually, right? It, and I will say it was Rahul who taught me how to bend the ball, but back then we would say, curve it like Coley. <laughs> wow. Do you remember Rahul? At the, at the schoolyard, all of the children would say, curl it like Coley. They did, but that was a reference to my genitals, <laughs> not <laughs> my football players. Ever so slightly to the left. <laughs> a long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, oh. Rahul and I oh. said that we wanted to play Jedi Power Battles in a oh, Funhouse video. And it took two seasons of this goddamn show and getting Kira Knightley in this building. Well, you know, I was a performer in the Star Wars universe. <gasps> really? Actually, actually, I was Sabe. You were Sabe. Sabe. Now tell me, tell me, do you know who Sabe is? The Handmaiden. Do you know who Sabe is, Kira? Uh, the Handmaiden. <laughs> you had no idea! Oh, Kira, what have you been up to? You do a lot of Cronenberg movies now? Oh, you know, just palling around London town. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, when you were in Star Wars, did you know what a huge phenomenon you were going to be when nobody no, remembers you were the in the Not at the time, not at the time. And I called up my old friend Rahul and I said, Rahul, <laughs> you'll never guess. I've got a heart in a new Hollywood picture. Yeah. It's something called Star Wars. Oh, you hadn't heard of it? I think I was nine when you called me. <laughs> yeah, I called yeah. you. It was much like the age dynamic between Padme and Anakin. It was what, what George was modeled, years, yeah. what George modeled it after. In fact, he said, "Kira, don't you? You have a young friend, R Rahul. What if you married him someday? That's their dynamic." What was the question? <laughs> so I said, "Rahul, explain it to me." Explain the and Star Rahul, Wars. Do you recall what you said? Yeah. Time? What did you say to Kira? I said, "Call Jacob up. He's that type of pussy o that understands." Because we're in London, so we I used London. to understand. And, and Kira, you knew what pussy. Pussyol was. We knew yeah. the pussyol, and he, oh, he was the. <laughs> Oh, he was the brightest six-month-old pussy old we ever. I remember like it was yesterday when I was a no, bright I, young little pussy old. And, uh, I was right chuffed to hear. Jacob, how old were you when this came out? When this game well, came I, out? No, episode one. Episode one. I was, it came out what, 98, 99? No, 99, yeah. 99, then I was eight. Just, oh, eight, just so a, a year younger than Anakin when he fell in love with his future wife. That's right. Tell me, do you know anything beyond <laughs> the Star Wars? Oh, shit. Do you know any academia? Any information that's actually useful? Oh, uh, let's see. I know that uh, shark skin is made up of dermal denticles. I don't believe we learned that in our A levels, Rahul. <laughs> did we now? Okay. No, we did not. I didn't do my A levels. <laughs> then who the hell was that? I dropped out of school. I only got past my GCSEs, which you would have done as well, GCSEs. I, oh, I did them twice. I liked it so much. Kira, I did want you to compare your experience working as a stand-in for Natalie Portman versus like all your other films that you've well, done. Natalie was very kind to me and what most people don't know is that actually some of the lines that you hear her say in the movie, that, that, that was me. It was your voice. You dubbed. It was actually me. You dubbed Natalie wow. Portman. Anakin, you're breaking my heart. Oh, that's that the was one. actually <laughs> me. Wait, so you came back for Revenge of the Sith? I came back. I would never left, darling. <laughs> I never left. I was there every single day on the set all three films they, they couldn't tear me away they didn't bring you back though for the new ones 
I tried. I said, I'll play Poe, I'll play Finn, I'll play Tom, Dick, and Harry. Just point me at this <laughs> camera, George. Well, I think those movies really could have used you, Kara. Thank you. Thank you, Jacob. You could have been Unkar Plut. I do not use a plot plug, but thank you for offering. <laughs> you went to RADA, didn't you? Uh, I... Remind me where we went. <laughs> <laughs> oh, remember who those are, Patrick? Say it like the Neomodians. The droid Deca? No, the uh, droid Decas. Oh. <laughs> I am fucking sweating. You're sweating. This foil inside for hypothermia. That's like a space I mean, that's a blanket. Winter jacket. Yeah, it's for hot. It's like what they store astronaut food in. This is a, an <laughs> actually an acting technique Rahul is harnessing here to, to raise his adrenaline. On set to wear the foil. I've, I'm doing it right now. Completely foil underwear. <laughs> head to toe. Is that what all that crinkling is? <laughs> it's a little secret of the trade. You look great, though. Thanks. How did I say it? I, I said you had big Dak energy. Big Dak energy. Big yeah, Dak yeah. Dak That's energy. a Star Wars reference. I didn't it get is. it. Yeah. Dak yeah. Rendar, I believe. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, it's I mean, not that's bad close. Here, it's yeah. close. Yeah. Look how long my lightsaber is. <laughs> you got the long mace. power. Oh! Oh, mace. We lost me. You've got to curve it like goalie, Jacob. I know, Kira. I'm trying. Oh. It's been such a long time since I last curved it. Oh, no. Uh oh A droid starfighter. Rahul, tell me, what is your favorite scene of mine from the Star Wars? Uh, it's probably the the only one you have. Oh, no. Uh, uh, it's when um, the Nemoidians, right? They think they've caught Queen Amidala, and they have. It's Natalie Portman. And then you oh. ran in and go, The occupation has ended. The occupation has ended. And then you yeah. headshot. Someone. Yeah, you shoot a droid's head right off. Yeah, awesome. and then run off. That was really good. Months of target practice. Yeah, you nailed oh, that, that was, shot. That, that was practical. It was practical. Oh, we gotta pick your new combo. And those are Dreamcast buttons, so who knows what it means. Yeah. Patrick. <laughs> yes. I've got a quiz for you. Okay. Personal preference. Yeah. Natalie Portman, Amadala. Kira Knightley, Amadala, oh. and and I w no, I won't. Whatever you You're choose, not I get won't. Upset I, I won't get upset. Whatever you choose. Well, wait. To do what with? Anything. Just preference. Definitely, Just... I'm sorry, but it's got to be Natalie Portman. <gasps> Dreadful. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Don't look. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, I'm good, Rahul. Do you, so many calls we had, so many discussions of Star Wars, so hmm. many ideas that you put through the pipeline that went straight to George, and he integrated into the film. It's true. I suggested the accents for the Nemoidians. Your little, little insurrection, insurrection, insurrection is at an end, your highness. Oh, Kira, I think you said you came up with Watto too, right? That was my my one contribution. You can take credit for that. Do you remember any quotes, Kira? Can you say some of the, your classic Watto lines? With the accent? Please? With the accent. Annie! Only money! Annie. Annie. I love owning slaves! I love owning slaves! I love owning slaves! I love owning slaves! You want me to want the small toss out the lander, but you want to win the race. Oh, it makes a little difference. You want me to want the small toss out the lander, but you want to win the race. Oh, it makes a little difference. Jedi, I'll kill his Nunas. What the fuck? The Nunas. Uh, Jabba eats one, he goes, boom. Did you hear that um, Disney has finally outlawed and replaced Jizz? jizz? Oh, we talked yeah, about this a little what bit. The fuck? What's it called now? I'm like out. Jazz or yeah. whatever? Yeah, I'm Jorks? Out. They tried to like do I'll it in a forget. way that wouldn't. Oh, there we go. They're like, well, Jizz is just a subgenre, but the broader yeah. music is really and called it, jazz. And it breaks it's my like, heart no, no, because no. I fell in love with Jizz mm. on the set and. <laughs> I was exposed to so many beautiful jizz musicians. Yeah, yeah. yeah. during like, the filming. You got any favorites? Who are your favorites? <laughs> just like any one, yeah. even just one musician. Oh, oh, the all. big sack band. The big they, sack. They had so many songs, they had to keep them in a sack. Well, what do you? How do you feel about like Droopy McCool? Loved it. I'm, I am crying for jizz. <laughs> As we speak. We all are. Shady Rays is an independent sunglasses brand that has over 250,000 five-star reviews. They are on a mission to match affordability with durability, making top quality shades accessible to everyone. I love Shady Rays. I have multiple pairs. I have one here with me right now, the Oakmont in Stealth. Could not, I, my Cypress Sandstone ones are in my car, otherwise I would show those off too. Love them. They have tons of styles and colors to pick from. So finding the perfect polarized shades is a breeze. If you're looking for an upgrade right now, because you might already have a pair, we would recommend their premium color rush lenses. They are crafted with rare earth materials. These lenses bring high impact color to life, elevating reds, blues, and greens. So even though your eyes are protected, you are still living your life 
life in color. Again, I love Shady Rays. They're my sunglasses of choice that I wear whether I'm hiking, whether I am driving, like doesn't matter. They're the ones I reach for. Plus, what I really, really love, if your shades go MIA or take a hit, don't sweat it. They've got a lost and broken protection plan so amazing that you are covered from day one. And if you don't love your shades, you can exchange or return them within 30 days. There's no risk when you shop. So exclusively for you, our audience, Shady Rays is giving out their best deal. Head to ShadyRays.com and use code FUNDAYS for 35% off polarized sunglasses and snow goggles. Try for yourself the shades rated five stars by over 250,000 people. There was a lot of revelry on set, a lot of jokes being told. What did Amadala say to scare Anakin? What, what did uh, what? Uh, uh, I have a dollar side scare on again. Nabu! Ah! Uh, uh, it got a big laugh from the Ewoks. You know who was the worst on that set? Oh, who? That who? little metal man. R2D2? Oh, I did not care for his little <laughs> can rolling around, <laughs> what did he bumping do? my ankles. What did Kenny Ooh. Baker? Do? Oh, yeah, you're talking about Kenny Baker, right? No, he was <laughs> the actor inside R2D2. What? what? There was an actor inside. Help! It wasn't. Help! It wasn't a robot George! or a remote. Help me! Well, George remote... didn't write that on the cards. What card? <laughs> Anything I needed to know, George wrote on the cue cards. He, was... he didn't tell you that there's a there's a guy. No, I was under the assumption it was a little metal man. <laughs> <laughs> like an automaton? I'm an actress, and not a scientist. Oh no! Oh my God! Hey, look out! They're Face! fucking you! They're fucking you! Oh, you hear that? No, I can't hear anything with this travel pillow on my head. <laughs> it is yeah, kind of hard to hear. I can only hear behind me. It's very strange. I can't even hear my own voice. <gasps> oh, a secret. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah, it's a Yoda sound. A minch? All the items make, make minch sounds when you pick them up. Like, well, listen, listen, here's a heal. Did you watch Ahsoka, Jacob? Yeah, I did. I thought I watched all of Ahsoka, but then it turned out, after all, it was Hawkeye. <laughs> Eight episodes later. What? And if you Google a soaking, you get totally different results. Are you talking Ooh. about the Mormon practice? Yeah, of course yeah. I am. Yeah, yeah. You I'm from Leeds, this? maybe. No. Jacob, I know this is a stupid question. <laughs> yeah. If you were soaking, if I was soaking, <laughs> and you had a mate yeah. jump in, Patrick or Elise, yeah. who's not here right now. Yeah, it's called a jump humper. Well, Happy to do it. What way. music are you playing? Oh, um, I know um, the answer. What jizz? <laughs> what, was, what was your answer? Yeah, it's gonna be Creed. Can you <laughs> take me higher? That's a slow jump. Oh, Creedles. Can you take me higher? You're listening to Van Halen's jump the whole yeah. time. <laughs> da, 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 da. Da. Patrick, you only soak to yakety sax, correct? <laughs> yeah, I'm old school. <laughs> <laughs> I like to have a, a silly kind of sex. A lot of pranks and goofs in there. So. <laughs> oh, I hate this fucking worm. <gasps> City of Theed. We're in Theed. We're going to meet Kira Knightley. Uh-oh. <gasps> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. AAT fight. Armored assault tank. I call them at ats. You have to put up with this. Yeah. Every episode. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, look at Jacob's score. Got better holes. Oh, I know. Here, I, here it, it happens when you die at the beginning of the game. <laughs> this is like me and James on the Buzz Lightyear ride at Disneyland. Objective. What the fuck? Is this <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Why don't you all tell me what my favorite role it was besides Star Wars of yours? Remember, I was Domino. <laughs> Did we know? I was Domino. Remember. I'll never forget how you were Domino. Kira, you were in a movie called The Hole. That's not a movie, and I would appreciate if you would remove that from my IMDb. It's a film about soaking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're both, oh, we're both in the hell. Can you do anything? Oh, you turned the little thing. Oh, look at that teamwork. Oh, you turned the little thing. Look at that. It's cool. I never want it to end. <laughs> You'll have to be Kira for a little bit longer, at least, if you're still in there. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that little symbol, the little handmade symbol down there. Uh, four of them. That's what we see in the sky when Padme needs a signal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Padme needs somebody to jump on the bed. That's still one of my favorite scenes is when she's talking about how they can't be together by the fireplace. When she's dressed in the hottest outfit she's ever worn and, and she's like, no. And I stood in for that and I said, Anakin, we can't be together by the fireplace. It's too hot over here. My jacket is lined with tinfoil. <laughs> your Star Wars jacket, Kara. I'm You're burning up. That's what he said is his heart was beating. My heart is beating. Because of the heat, probably. What was happening was the reason he thought is because the, the decoys kept telling, pretending to be uh, Padme, 
and coming and flirting with Anakin. Well, they slept oh, they with him. They yeah. Chris slept with so him. he's confused because yeah. then he's like, why is, why is she hot and cold? It's like the prestige. And that's what happens after we've served as a decoy. She dumps us into those tanks. <laughs> You're drowned. Oh, yeah. no. She drowns. Tanks and tanks full of decoys. <laughs> oh, what a terrible thing. Imagine if Padme lost a finger, you'd all have to lose your <laughs> finger. You'd all have to lose a yeah. finger. Oh, yeah, yeah. If she soaks, we soak. It's <laughs> dreadful. The skies of Naboo bled red that night. Yeah. Oh, that much. God. Jesus Christ. I don't know what that means exactly, and I probably regret saying it. They're all synced up. Oh, my God. Oh, my You've got no idea. Up. Go on. <laughs> go on. Go on, Kira. Do you really want to talk about the decoys singing up their menstrual yeah. cycles? Why That's not? the best perfect way to end the video. <laughs> I guess we beat it. There you go. Yay! Let's just say we beat it. Kira, Rahul, acting is your arena. And I fear we must now return to ours. That's a that's a Queen Amidala. He, he tweaked it to make it fit. I, yeah, for the, for the end. Yeah.